Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another quick look video where I look at various art books and magazines and today we're looking at this art book which is called 75 Art Exercises for Comics and Animation <laughs> and it's Draw Great Characters by the artist Beverly Johnson so straight away just looking at the cover you can see we're in for lots of fun lots of fun with this one so let's go and have a look at this one So little Lenny the Lion's with us for this one, he's going to help us get into it and he, he can't wait for this. I've been excited to get into this book for ages since I first saw it. It's 75 art exercises for comics and animation, draw great characters by Beverly Johnson. And when I had a little look in this, well look at the characters on the cover and I always say if, the, if you love the if you love the characters that the artist is creating, you're gonna I think you're gonna get a lot more fun out of the book. That's what I think. So these I can't wait for this. So little Lenny's gonna get us in. <laughs> little cat look, I like that as well. Draw great characters. So this is all about characters. 75 art exercises. Be very interesting to see what these exercises are like. So we've got eight, look at these characters there, what I think to myself is, you can put, I bet you can open this page to any, this book to any page and sketch one of these characters. So really all you've got to do is just, you could just like copy that sketch in your sketchbook. Oh this is Bev, <laughs> she looks cool she does. So we've got eight chapters. Shape language, personality, faces and expressions, body language, character interactions, costumes and props, drawing from life and drawing techniques. And look at his nose. <laughs> He's got a big nose. This one came out in 2019. So it's not that... It's quite a new one really. Four years. She looks cool. I'd love to see a real picture of her. To see what she really looks like. But from here she looks like a little cutie. <laughs> Tools and materials. Have I got any of these? Nope. Oh, I've, nope. I haven't got any of those. Hey, look. Shape language. You've got like a superhero. Beautiful squidginess to that one. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> look at his head, look. Oh, this would be a really good one for for an article on the podcast, I think. Because you could just go through each of these little sections here. Exercise 1. Oh, it's drawing props, isn't it? Drawing prompts. The most challenging question for any artist, where do I start? Ah, so you've... What's this one all about then? Here's a simple exercise to free up your mind. Just put some random shapes on paper and see what they suggest. Then build up characters. So she's put a random shape down and turned it into little characters. I've seen this before. I think it was the Lean Into Art podcast talked about this one. Exercise 2. <laughs> Look, she's turning... She's turning sh um, objects into people. I like that one, the apple. See, I can already tell these are going to be really fun exercises to do. Next, next one looks like you've got to fit the characters into shapes or something. It's beautiful. I love the, I love the um, squidginess of the characters. There's multiple ways you could use this book. You could just go through it for inspiration. Or you could actually go through all the, the exercises. Subvert the visual la shape language. Try drawing a shape looking a shape looking character who is kind. Ah, so she's giving you specific keywords. 
on that one. Yay! Look at that, look. I love that. Personality. Yay, we've got a cat as well. <laughs> Looks like a little character he does. This little, little cat. Exercise 9. Put your music on shuffle and draw a character based on each song. Oh, I like the sound of that one. Draw the complete opposite of yourself. Oh, I like that as well. Yeah, that would be quite interesting, that would. In other words, if you're shy, you draw a really extroverted character. I love the um, like the motion in these characters as well. <laughs> She's having a right tem temper tantrum. Cool. Look at that, look. Hey, noodles. Her hair's made of noodles. Think of five foods or drinks. Design characters based on them. Yeah. So that's a cupcake. That's a salad. That's a noodle. I like that. That's my favourite. The noodle. Oh, I love that character. Draw characters that embody a very specific thing. Animal, object or visual. She gives you prompts as well. She's beautiful. Love that character. I like the way there's a little bit of blue in her hair with her fingernails as well. <laughs> Look, got her hands in their pockets. I like that. Exercise 17. Choose some household objects and design characters based on them. <laughs> Look, a pencil. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, little sofa. <laughs> oh, you could go all over the place with this. Th this is making me quite excited. Choose a pet or simply an animal you like. Observe their mannerisms and try to capture their personality through gesture and expression. Oh, that, look at that, look. That is brilliant, that one, look. What me? <laughs> I feel like that that one there needs to wear a little crown, like a little sort of diva. Yeah. Lovely these are. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do some of these for future podcasts, for articles. Exercise 22. A character doesn't always have to be a person. A setting can have a char character and personality all of its own. I've said that before on the thing, on my podcast and that. Even like props. Props have got their own like story and stuff. That's what I mean. Ev it's like everything is entangled with everything else. Faces and expression. Look at the way the... Um, like you can feel... You can feel like that fabric's about to sort of slip off of her shoulder. <laughs> I like that when you get the sketch on a coloured piece of paper. I like her hair. These are all facial expressions. That's quite interesting. I like the style. Make a bunch of expressions in the mirror ranging from sombre to ridiculous. Draw yourself making these expressions. That'd be quite interesting, that would. I love that. <laughs> I like this little um, doggy as well. Choose an animal and sketch an expression sheet for them. It's a bit sad, that one. <laughs> God. Really good at capturing emotions. I 
body language. <laughs> I love that. The um the gestures here. What makes a character's body language threatening or villainous? Create a villain who exudes menace through body language. Hmm. Create a character who embodies anxiety. Oh, I like that. Look at this, look sexy. Create a holy pom pompous character. I don't know what that word means, pompous. Does that mean like they... I don't know. I like that though. hi -ya! <laughs> Create a character whose body language totally contradicts their physique. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like an unlikely hero. Oh, look at this, look. Even hunched over, a character can appear mysterious. That, I love that. I think that, for me, is probably going to be the best image in this book. That's what I'm thinking. I love that one. Absolutely beautiful. Every so often that happens, you see something that... Like, for me, that's perfection, that is. <laughs> Doggy's down barking downstairs, and there's a doggy here. I don't know if you can hear that doggy. He likes barking, he does. Look at that, look. Such a character who wears a mask. Sketch a character who wears a mask. How do they express themselves through body language alone? That's interesting as well. That one, I think they're sort of creeping around like they're about to sort of attack or something. <laughs> Yay! Look, that would be so perfect for copying in your sketchbook. These, these for me, would be brilliant sketch characters in motion. These would be perfect for me for copying character interactions. Huh, I like that one. Naughty! Oh, that little, um, little, I don't know what he is. Oh, I like him. Yeah, look, at, I love the cat on that one. That's a nice feeling one. My favourite thing on that page is this little cat. Draw a group of friends. No, they don't, for me, they don't feel like a group of friends. You need to see them all together. But I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine her hanging out with her, really. I couldn't imagine her hanging out with him. That should have been a group shot, really, I think. Your pair of best friends. I like that one. Draw a character interacting with an animal. Oh, cool. Look at his um, little slippers, look. He's got cat slippers on. Yeah. That's brilliant. And I like his smile on his face. They're both having fun there. Create a cast of characters. See, now that looks cool. They look like they are... They look like they all belong together, but these other ones, for me, they don't really feel like they belong together. Like a bunch of misfits. <laughs> this is like a group of sort of superstars or something. Maybe it's the colour that's brought them all together. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's cool. Yay, costumes and props. I love outfits. It's going to be cool, this one. 
We've got old Victorian stuff. Yeah. Draw design characters with very specific costumes. I like that one. Design objects based on a single word. Haunted. Bejeweled. Oh look, sketch different shoes. <laughs> Who's my favourite? I like her outfit, but I like... For me, this one feels like the... I like this one as well. Probably these two are my favourites. I like this one though. Something about that one. Drawing from life. One of the most convenient ways to draw from life is to sketch yourself. <laughs> yeah, see, I wouldn't really want to sketch myself though. Because I like to sketch things that excite me. So I'd rather sketch I'd rather sketch other people I suppose. These are very nice little sketches eh? Sketch 50 hands from observation. That'd be interesting. Like this one. Ah, oh, drawing techniques. <laughs> His nose. He's got a funny nose. He has. Holding your pencil. Additional grip. Oh, I like that she put this at the back because very often the first thing you get is a load of things like that. But I, I like that she put this at the back. Controlling line weight, hatchings, all various different techniques. Line and wash. Oh, that's it! Yay! She ends with a cool little, <laughs> a cool little character. Oh, I, I like that. I really enjoyed that. I've got a feeling this book is going to be absolutely brilliant for. Oh, well, like she said at the very start, one of the hardest things is where to start. Where do I start? I think this book is going to be brilliant for just. Helping you get into drawing something. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so little Lenny the Lion, he enjoyed that one. I thought it was brilliant. The main thing I liked about this one was how it's just so inspirational. I feel like this is a I feel like every artist should have this book really. Because I don't know how many times like I wanted to do a sketch in my sketchbook or something. And it is like she said in the book, you don't know where to start sometimes. So this is just a brilliant book for getting inspiration on where to start doing some sketches. But also what I like about it is the characters. There's just loads of cool characters in here as well. So I really hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs> and I shall see you later for another one.